Hi guys, Brenton here from Mongrel Fishing Tackle. A lot of you would have seen our little knot tour that we've sold thousands of over the years. I'm sure many of you have already got them. I've also been asked, is there a larger model? And up until now there hasn't been. So today they arrived. Almost twice the size. Great for heavier stuff. So what I use the, the knot tire for, it's actually a nail knot tool. Um, used a lot for fly fishing. But what I use these for is to join my leader to my braid. So I'm going to show you how I do that. It's got many other uses, many other knots. But today I'm just going to show you how to tie the braid to your leader, joining two pieces of line together. So on my right hand side I have some mongrel braid here. Hope you can see that okay. Um, I'm not sure, I think it's probably about 50 pound that one. So it's uh, reasonably heavy. And I've just got some some uh, nylon here on the other side on my left. So what we actually do is we cross those two lines together like so, and we leave leave a bit of a tag on each. We then take our tool and we place the two bits of line. Where you can see the groove in the tool. We place the two pieces of line through the groove, and this tool has a thumb pad. Now the thumb pad's the most important part of the tool. You hold the line firmly with your thumb, those two pieces of line, and then we take our tag end and we start to wind it from front to back and you hold it with your holding it with your forefinger as it, as it comes back. So we're just going to do say three winds because we don't want a massive knot. Three winds like that and then we take our tag end and we bring it from the back, back through the line, through the front. And this is the important part. We need to Snap it off tightly, holding our thumb. It's critical that you don't let your thumb leave the thumb pad. So hold your thumb down as tight as you can and we're snapping that leader onto the braid like such. So there we have it. Yeah, and you may have to tighten it up a bit, but it's just a little pull. So there you have it, we have our first knot. So what we do now is we turn that whole two pieces of line around 180. So we've got the tool the right way. If you're a right-hander we then place the knot this time behind the thumb pad and run the two lines again through the groove of the nail knot tool and we do the same on the on the other side we're doing exactly the same thing we're taking our tag end and winding it around the two lines three times so one two, three, and then back through the, from front to back, back through our line. Not sure if you can see it. Get it nice and firm and we're snapping it off again. So we, there we have it. We have our two pieces of line. Then what we do, it's best to probably wet the line, but I'm not going to do it in this case. We take our, our, our braid and our, and our leader and we Pull it firmly and those knots will join together nicely. Look at that. And then we take our trusty braid scissors and we cut the tag ends off as close as you can to that knot. Some little nippers are good as well. I love these scissors though, um, little braid scissors that we have. Cutting it as close as you can to that knot. And there you have it strong knot you won't get that apart get on to them mongrelfishingtackle.com.au see you next time